All right, this is Dr. Michael Mueller, and today we are going to chat, talk about a peptide, a peptide that I believe is an absolute game changer. Yes, you heard me correctly, game changer when it comes to building muscle mass, right? When it comes to better hair, yes, thicker, fuller hair, tissue repair, yes, it'll help your skin to repair itself better. And this could potentially help you to look younger. And it also helps with hormone regulation and vision support. Now, what peptide is this? What magical peptide would do all of these things? That peptide, folks, is folistatin or folistatin, depending on how you would like to pronounce it. Folistatin for 344. And what is it? Well, it's simple. It's a regulator, right? It's a regulator that blocks specific proteins in the body that kind of do bad things. And we're going to chat about that, right? Now, this peptide works wonderfully, in my opinion, or works best for muscle growth, right? You heard me correctly, muscle growth. Now, if you want to build muscles, folks, you have to break a muscle down, meaning if you want your muscle to get stronger, if you want your muscles to get bigger, you have to go to the gym or you have to do other forms of exercise that will stress that muscle, right? And when you do that, the muscle at the microscopic level will break down a bit and then it will recover. It will recover from that stressor, that exercise or whatever else uh, you did. And when that happens, that's when muscle growth occurs, right? Um, and, and that is a process that works quite nicely when you're young and healthy, right? We all remember those wonderful days, uh, you know, in our early 20s or late teens, when you could go to the gym and get a great pump and you could build muscle easily. Those were absolutely indeed good days, right? But as we age, that doesn't happen as easily, right? It's harder to get a nice pump. It's harder to recover from the exercise that you do, and it's harder to build muscle mass. And the reason for that is there is a little pep protein, right, in the body called myostatin, right? And myostatin is the culprit that inhibits the muscle growth and the muscle recovery that you had when you were younger. So what folistatin does, right? What it does is it inhibits myostatin, right? And because myostatin doesn't allow the muscles to grow larger, right? It impedes that. By blocking myostatin, folistatin allows your muscles to not only recover better after exercise, but to get bigger and stronger. And that's why I am a big fan of this peptide. Now, don't forget, folks, I am a physician, okay? And I love longevity and wellness, and I've done it for over 20 years, but I'm not your physician. So if you're going to consider taking any peptide, you need to talk to your doctor about it, right? Because peptides, though they do many good things, a lot of them have not been researched extensively, and we just don't know all of the potential positive and negative outcomes of many peptides. So you need to chat with your doctor before you start any peptide. But nonetheless, folistatin is an absolute game changer when it comes to muscle recovery. And I've seen it. I know people who have used it with great benefit. And it also helps the muscles, obviously, to get bigger. But it also helps your body to kind of get more lean. Uh, there's even some speculation that it may help decrease body fat. But it's just not a muscle peptide. It also helps with hair growth. Now, I know with my beautiful head of hair, it's uh, you're probably saying, what does he know about hair growth? Well, I know a lot about hair growth because obviously it's been an area of interest of mine for many years. Um, and this also helps with hair growth, right? It, 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 what it does is there's a little um, protein called activin, A-C-T-I-V-I-N, and this causes hair follicles to go dormant. And as we get older, it, it gets more and more active. The activin does, and, that, and a dormant hair is an unhealthy hair, and it will fall out and your hair will be less thick. And what folistatin does is it blocks activin, and this allows your hair to not only grow fuller, but to grow uh, thicker and healthier, and it'll even kind of wake up sleeping hair follicles. And hypothetically, this could cause old follicles that are no longer active to grow new hair, meaning you would get hair back in places where you might have lost it before. So it's wonderful for muscle growth. It's wonderful for hair growth. 
but it also helps with tissue repair. In fact, uh, scarring, uh, scarring is one thing that folostatin helps with. It helps uh, to decrease scarring after surgical procedures or any type of uh, insult to the skin. Um, and hypothetically, it should help the skin to also look younger by keeping it healthier um, by blocking TGF beta, which is a protein that causes scarring in the skin and, un and other unhealthy effects in the skin itself. So it helps with muscle growth, it helps with hair growth, and it helps to keep your skin healthy and it works very well for scarring and things like that. It also has some benefits in regards to tendons, but that's kind of a topic for another day. So folostatin does all of these wonderful things, but it just doesn't stop there, folks. It also helps with hormone regulation, okay? Now, activin, which we talked about with the hair growth, also lowers FSH. And by blocking activin, folostatin can increase your FSH, which is follicle-stimulating hormone, and by increasing FSH, that can actually help your body to increase the production of testosterone and other hormones that are essential for wellness. I've made plenty of videos on testosterone. You know, testosterone is magical for men, but it also helps women. So if you've missed my videos on testosterone, you should check those out also. So it helps muscles. It helps tissue repair. It helps skin. It helps hair growth. It helps hormone regulation. And yes, folks, it does something else. It helps with vision support. Now, this is a bit complex, but to keep it simple, by blocking a protein called BMP4, it helps the optic nerve and the retinal cells to kind of stay healthy. And hypothetically, this should help with vision. But again, folks, many peptides haven't be, been researched extensively. So be sure to talk to a doctor before you take any peptide. And if you've missed all of my other videos on peptides, you should check them out because we talk about peptides on my channel, but we also talk about wellness and weight loss and living longer and all of those wonderful things that can help you to live a better life. So folks, it's a new year. It's 2026. I think as of today, okay, you should try to do your best every day of your life to live a healthier life. And you can do that by exercising more, walking more, getting rid of body fat, getting rid of bad habits, and obviously seeing a doctor to make sure all of your medical issues are well controlled. But if you do those things and you take the right supplements and you exercise and you take the right peptides, not only can you live well, but you can live better than you ever have. So thanks for listening. Give me a thumbs up. I'll be back at you soon with another video. Bye.